Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about cloud migration. So basically moving your organization's data and application from on-prem to cloud is what we call cloud migration. But the important question is why do people do cloud migration? And there are a bunch of reasons for that. Let's look at the cost efficient. So unlike your on-prem system where you buy the hardware, you, I mean, actually own the system. Uh, in cloud, it's not like that. So in cloud, you just pay for what you use, like pay as you go model. So you only pay for whatever resources you are using. The second other benefit or second most important benefit is scalability and flexibility. So if you talk about something like an S3 bucket in AWS, right, which offers you unlimited storage. Suppose if you have to repeat or if you have to replicate something like that on on-prem, you have to buy so much of storage, which is actually not possible. So like the scalability which S3 offers, you'll probably never be able to replicate it on on-prem. And the third one is with the bunch of cloud native uh, deployment tools and uh, basically methodologies which are available, the deployments of application is a lot faster. In fact, not just application, the infrastructure itself, right? It, it is a lot faster in cloud than compared to your on-prem systems. All right. So in this video, I'll talk about three migration strategies, which most of the companies today use, right? So let's discuss that. There are a bunch of other strategies. You can just Google them, but I'll talk about just three, which are primarily, you must have also heard about these uh, strategies. And these are the strategies which companies mostly use. All right. So number one is rehosting uh, or lift and shift. So lift and shift most, I think you guys must have heard about lift and shift. So in this, you are basically not making any changes to your application or data, and you're just replicating whatever you have on on-prem into cloud. So this is not, this is probably the fastest way to migrate to cloud because you're not making any architectural changes, but it is not very cost efficient. And it's also not to, uh, very efficient in manners like you're not able to utilize the cloud native services, right? So that's a big uh, drawback this, uh, this uh, methodology or this strategy has, but a lot of people actually do a lot of lifting and shifting, especially when they are uh, like completely non-prem and then they are migrating to cloud for the first time, they do lift and shift, right? So it's a very popular uh, strategy, but it's not very efficient. All right, moving on. The next is replatforming or lift, tinker and shift. So in, it is very similar to lift and shift. It's just that you tinker uh, or basically just play around in between when you are migrating. So for an example, you have a MySQL database running on a virtual machine when you are on on-prem, but when you're migrating to cloud, you just uh, move it to an RDS database, right? So that you get a cloud native service or you get uh, the benefits of using RDS. And something similar is like moving an application, uh, you're moving an application and you move it to uh, Elastic Beanstalk, right? So instead of deploying them on virtual machine, you use Elastic Beanstalk. So those kind of little tinkering when you do in your architecture, not major architectural changes, it's just a little bit of here and there, uh, tidbit which you basically modify and then you move your application. So this is also one of the quickest way to move to cloud. And this also lets you, uh, this also gives you a lot of performance improvement if and also lets you use a few cloud native services. So this is a very, uh, I would say, in between way to migrate to cloud. So with the next uh, strategy, which I'll talk about is probably an extreme, the lift in between. Uh, so lift and shift is one end of the extreme. And the next strategy, which we'll talk about is the other end of the stream extreme. And this is something in between. So you will actually, I mean, a lot of people prefer doing this when, when they migrate to cloud. And the last one, which I want to talk about is refactoring or re-architecting. So this strategy uh, is like the most complex strategy if you are migrating to cloud because you are architecting your application from scratch. So let's, for an example, if I tell you, suppose you have uh, a monolith application in your on-prem uh, deployed on virtual machines, but while migrating to cloud, you are converting it to microservices based architecture and you are deploying it on something like an EKS cluster where you are making your workload containerized, right? So this is a very complex change. Suppose if you have a very complex application, uh, maybe something like an e-commerce website. So this is a very complex uh, migration process because you are first converting it to not just microservices, you're also con converting this to containerized workload. So there are a bu bunch of 
complex changes that would go into your architecture, right? But this offers you uh, the best performance and scalability. You actually utilize like the most you can get out of cloud native services you get in this this strategy. So yes, so I think these are the three um, major arch strategies where which people use when they are migrating to cloud. And yeah, that's that's all I wanted to discuss. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And thank you for watching.